Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Brent again, and we are going to be kicking off a commentary for this video. So I hope you enjoy. Um, this is me just drumming on my chest in the morning as I usually do before I wake up. Had a great night's sleep. Typical morning, just getting myself ready. I like to fold up my zero degree mummy bag. Wasn't that cold last night. In fact, I didn't even need it. Take down all my blankets, uh, fold all my blankets. Only one blanket, really. There's my feet. And uh, load up my feet, dress my feet, get them ready for the day. Warm, clean socks. Yes, indeed. Slap on these Nikes. Then we're going to take down our window shades. Get, get over here. A little bit of condensation on the windows, but nothing too crazy. These are a must-have for car campers. Must-have, in my opinion. Then I like to get everything out of the front seat and place it in the back seat. I like to have everything organized, ready for the day so that I know where everything is. You know, I'm a little OCD about it, but, you know, it helps me throughout the day. So, all my beloved hot bags right there. Towel. backpack all right now we're just gonna jump in the front seat get ready to go i'm kind of contemplating my day here so uh, it's a very simple day i'm gonna go straight to the laundromat now it's about a 15 minute drive from where i am in this particular walmart and i could go to any laundromat but for the sake of this video i want to go to my favorite laundromat and it's actually located in an area that I like to call the hub because it's not only where I do my laundry, I also check my mail. Uh, there's a gym there and also I can uh, go to Starbucks right beside where I get my mail, start off the day with my morning coffee. So let's get on over to the hub. It's actually a beautiful morning. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. If you were to watch this video in its entirety, like without any edits, it would probably take about 40 minutes. So I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to speed up some things here. I have to give myself credit for this shot, guys. Look at this. I'm actually... Uh, holding my camera on my forehead. I don't advise it, but I'm a pro, so it's just the length I go to get a good shot. Like and subscribe. Here we go. So here we are at the Green Jeans Laundromat. This is in Smithfield, Rhode Island. Great staff, and it's a great place to do laundry. Big shout out. So I'm going to get all my things ready to go. I have my quarters all ready to go in the back here. And I have enough for today, just so it happens. I usually have more in here. I'll usually load up $20 at a time, to be honest. But get my uh, Tide Pods. And I'm also going to be freshening up a little bit in here. So I'm going to grab my toiletry bag as well. Why not? Laundromat was kind of slow this morning. I had the whole place to myself, which is nice. But it's always clean and there's plenty of space in here as well. So I'm going to load up the machine, taking out everything out of the pockets. I hate it when I leave paper receipts in there or something like that. It screws up the whole load. But I learn. I live and I learn. So this is pretty much most of my clothing okay so 
I live a minimalist lifestyle, so I actually only have about 10 t-shirts, eight pairs of underwear, eight pairs of socks. I have one towel, two hoodies. I have a pair of pants, two pairs of shorts. Guys, that's it for me. All right, and I like this lifestyle because, I don't know, it frees up a lot of space in my mind. Um, so, getting everything in there. I do this once a week as well, I should mention. Once a week, I'll do my laundry. I smell good and I look good. Most of the time. So it takes about 30 minutes to complete this cycle. It gives me time to freshen up. So I'm gonna head in here, brush my teeth. I usually brush my teeth in the car and I, I don't have a problem with that. But if I can use the facilities somewhere, I will. Because why not? Everything's portable. So I have my face wipes here as well for a freshen up. After this, I'm gonna head to the gym, get a workout in and get a shower in as well. So I will be doing that, but this is, you know, a kind of why not situation, you know? Whatever's on my face, uh, I will now wash it off for the day ahead. And then I take a look at myself in the mirror and say, Damn, Bran, you are handsome. Watch some uh, TV. Valuable stuff on here today. Watching some Daniel Tiger. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, then I like to play a little bit of chess. Um, I'm not that great at chess, so if you're out there and you want to play, you don't need to ask me. I'm fine. I'm good. I'll pass. I play chess with my son a lot. He's much better than I am. But son, if you're watching this, my day is coming. All right, we're going to unload all the wet clothing, clean clothing. And we're going to push it over to the dryer while whistling. We got to whistle, all right? Okay, sorry about that. All right, we're going to load up that dryer. Get in there. Now, I spare no expense when it comes to drying my clothes, folks. Okay? I don't like half dry clothing. I like full dry clothing. What does that say? Hi? Bring it down to medium. 15 minutes? Screw that. We need another quarter. Let's go. Live in large. We're going to fast forward this process. This takes about 20 minutes. Well, obviously 20 minutes. And then I'm going to unload. And this is one of my favorite parts of the experience. And I'm going to explain why in just a second. So I like to firstly just sort through all of my laundry. And then I start with the larger items like my towel. Um, and then I'll move over to the pants. And then I'll move over to the hoodies my lovely orange hoodie, which you see me wear quite often. Just fold these clothes and show them some love, right? Then I sort my t-shirts before I fold them. And there's a method to my madness. You know, I I've been told before that my style of folding is quite militant. Um... But I, I learned how to fold my clothes through a book that I read. So the name of the book is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. It's by Marie Kondo. And, you know, this book really kind of kick-started my minimalist lifestyle in that it taught me how to get rid of clutter in my life and only keep the things that I appreciate and need in life right and we really don't need that much right or I don't personally so I learned how to fold this way from reading that book 
And what I like about this, you know, whole process of doing my laundry, it gives me an opportunity to practice mindfulness. So I pretty much just give myself to the experience of doing my laundry, appreciating my clothes and folding my clothes and all other thoughts in my mind just leave the room. So I'm kind of just practicing the mindfulness of it. And it's almost like meditation in a way in that it just clears my mind of other things that I don't need to be thinking about right now. Moving on to my boxers, you can see I roll those up. Also learned how to do that through the book. Same approach with the socks. I, you know, I'm quite um, methodical, I guess you could say. Is that a word? Methodical? I line them up and I fold them. you know and i'm appreciative of my clothing as well so so it's it's my way of expressing gratitude towards my clothing is by taking the time to really fold them the right way or my way i should say got my hats out there cleaned as well and then i use this walmart bag these are like reusable walmart bags and they're like they're actually really sturdy fit all my clothing really nicely inside of this bag look at this bang 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 all done folded neat ready to go ready to transport to the back of my vehicle so let's go there so here i am in the back of the car this is the top shelf start off with the socks and the underwear fit perfectly into a shoe box and that's what this way of clo- uh, of folding does for me it's just I can really just cram it all in there, but still keep it nice and neat and organized. T-shirts, just load them up like a sleeve. It's, it's, it's like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> Get them all in there. And my T-shirts are very plain and basic, but they're, they're, they're comfortable. Um, yeah, so sweater in there. And then on the bottom shelf, I will just put my pants. I've got plenty of room for pants and shorts. And that's going to do it for the laundry. So, um, like I said earlier, we are in the hub. And now I'm going to head over to get my mail. And this is, uh, I get my mail at the UPS store. It's a UPS box. That's what it's called. Warning. Dipshit. Standing. In. Parking spot. Okay, so we're just going to walk around that guy. So I walk in here. It's like I live here, you know, and people think I'm cutting the line. It's great. So this actually gives me a good idea for a a video, you know, how much a UPS box costs and what that entails. I will go into that on another video, but not today. So just stay tuned. So here we are going into Starbucks to get that morning coffee. It's going to be a decaf. It's always a decaf. And today I'm going to be using my Starbucks gift card that my mom got me for Christmas. I'm still using this thing. Let's see how much money's left on it. 60. Damn! That's a lot of money. And my son also got me a Starbucks gift card for Christmas. So I'm all set for coffee for a while. Thanks, guys. Love you both. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take it easy.